Hi there! So again, AK Jachinoy and Happy Happy New Year to all of you, to all my subscribers. And if you are new, hi there! My name is Lou. I am Jachinoy15. Why? I have a Jachinoy name because Ja means Japanese, Chi means Chinese, and Noi means Pinoy. If you can hear my ba uh, the background, that's my kid. That's my usual background because this is the only free time that I can film. I am on a different room and they're in a different room. So let's get it on. I would like to share with you my best in beauty makeup this 2017. I was collecting everything, everything on what I love the most from last year. And I have a lot of things that I love most. Highly recommendable and it works on my uh, combination skin. I have a uh, have normal to oily combination skin and if I don't moisturize properly, I get I have a uh, sort of dry patches in some areas of my face so I deleted uh, my the lipsticks because when I was collecting it I realized I have a lot a lot a lot of lipsticks so probably I'll just do a separate video for that but now I'm going to do the best in makeup for 2017 so if you like this kind of videos then keep on watching Okay, so for today, I would like to share with you the best in beauty and makeup. For me, if you ask me, I always wear makeup. Like really Monday to Friday because I work in an office and uh, it really... I, I can really test on makeup whether it lasts so long. I'm here uh, working in Singapore and I am in a, I am in an office which is uh, air conditioned and when I go out, the heat is there so i already tested this one these are my ulta ulta ultimate favorites that i've tested so probably will do the first one is primer i have three primers on hand i think we do first the most inexpensive the most cheapest this one is from the brand etude house this is it what it looks like it's a korean brand what's the name it's a Chewed House Face Blur with SBF 33 PA++. It's smoothing, it's pore hiding, and it tones up. And I really agree on this. This one, I just recently uh, used it because when I went to Korea recently, if you haven't seen that, me and my family went to Korea and have family blogs. I'm going to link it down below at the description bar. And this is one of the rave highly recommended. So... Can you imagine? I have a lot of, we have a lot of Etude House here in Singapore, but I seldom go to Etude House. Uh, we have several, several Korean brands here, but I'm not really kind of, um, kind of uh, in-depth uh, known for it that, you know, K-pop or Korean beauty products is the best. Wow, if you really go there in Korea, it's really one of the best and I like it because they promote local products so yes back to this i like this so much so this is the face blur and it got a palm so this one uh it just likes it's not uh it's not a silicone uh, primer normally everybody likes a silicone primer but if you can see it's kind of a moisturizer primer then when you spread it out it will be like a second skin so it looks like this and i like it and you know what it have it's like a it has a slight smell but the feeling is like a moisturizer so when you put on your um foundation it will really stick and it lasts long so it looks like this so yes that is a face face primer that i have been using for 2017 and, I've, and i'll be using it uh until now the next one that i recommend of course, it's another Korean brand. This is the Pore Master Sebum Control Primer. I believe I bought it in Aritom. Yeah, this is it. So this one, they said this is the exact dupe of the, you know, one of the expensive, the Benefit Pore uh, Professional. And I do believe so because this is like a bomb and it minimizes the appearance of pores. And both of them, it really, um, it really does what it says. So I'll show you how it looks like. Just a fast one. So this is the pore, uh, the pore master. So it looks like this, right? And then the pore, pore professional from Benefit. It looks like this as well. 
So it's like a skin base color. Ah! So it looks like this. Both are, they look like skin base color. And as you can see, the blending is the same. And you know what? When I blend it out, the texture is the same. It's kind of a silicone finish. And I like it. And it really bl blurs out the pores, the fine lines. And the makeup will stick. It's not that uh, as sticky as the face blur from uh, Etrude House. But it works really wonder, especially for me that I got open pores. So yes, that is my top three face uh, face primers. So the next one is the foundation. When I'm checking out my foundation, well, I have like six that I always use. I think you're going to kill me on this, but everything is really the best and best for me. I'll just do it very fast. So the first one is the L'Oreal Pro Matte. This is the Infallible 24-Hour Pro Matte. I am in golden beige. And this one, uh, we have it for so long. But here in Singapore, I only, uh, I only managed to bought it at the Changi Airport. I bought it at the Duty Free. But recently, now this month, we have this already. It's a Pro Matte. This is uh, the US version. I can see it in, in Guardian, in Watson's, and in everywhere. But this one is the, uh, I believe, the Europe version. That's why it looks like this. Why I like this so much? Because it's really matte. It's really matte fin finish and it um, it's a perfect match for my skin color for this golden beige and it's very uh, travel friendly as you can see it's like a, a tube thing and it's very pointed at the edge and it's just really really good I like this so much I bought two of it one for traveling one here and yeah I, I really really like this the next one is this one I think recently as well is from Wet n Wild. It's their Photo Focus. I am in bronze beige. This one is really true. They said they tested it in uh, several different lightings with and without flash and I really really agree on this. I know a lot of YouTubers uh, really rave about this and I really like it so much. This one is a perfect match as well on my skin color but the downside only is this applicator. Yes, it's not a pump. It's just like, um, yeah, it's just like there's a stick on it. So yeah, that's the only downside but it will not stop me from using it. It's on the bottle like this. I love it so much. I highly rave about this. The next one is one of the most inexpensive. I think this is the most cheapest that I got. And I'm so uh, surprised. This is from ELF. ELF is one of the cheapest uh, makeup brands in the US. This is uh, oil free. It's got SPF 15 sunscreen. And I am in sand. And this one, it has a very cute uh, squarish uh, packaging. And it even got a pump and it's very inexpensive. I forgot what's the name of this. It's just so funny. It doesn't have the name of the foundation, but I'm going to write it here below the exact name of this foundation. But yes, I highly, highly recommend this and I've been using it for quite some time. If you can hear, my kids are playing. Next one is from CoverGirl. We don't have CoverGirl here in the Philippines. I bought this online. I really, really like the lasting power of this. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1. It says here it's a foundation, it's a sunscreen, and it has a spectrum of SPF 20. And I am in natural beige. As you can see, I already, I'm already like half of it. Yeah, but the only downside of, downside of this, it's always the packaging. It's always about the packaging, right? So you can see this one is kind of flimsy. So this is the only cap. It's a glass bottle, but this is plastic and it got the pump. So, but aside from that, it's a good coverage as well. Everything is medium, uh, uh, slight uh, medium coverage, but, uh, but it's buildable and I like it. So this is from CoverGirl. And the next one, my ultimate, ultimate, one of my favorites every, every year that I have. I have it for years and years and I have been buying it for, for a lot of bottles. I believe this is my third bottle. This is from Revlon. The color Stay is a combination oily skin and this is the exact match from my skin color. I am in 310 Warm Golden, so it looks like this. And here in Singapore, 
finally they have this with the pump because if you're old school like me and if you have been wearing this Revlon color stay for quite some time the annoying part is like it's a bottle right and this one it's a twist cap and that's it that's it it's so hard for the liquid foundation to pour out especially if you are like you know on your on your last inch of foundation this one i got one fourth of it so as you can see you just need to tap tap and the control foundation is really really annoying but aside from that this one is really really good especially if i sweat especially if i have uh, lights on me like for example in a party i really like the coverage on this so yes it's always revlon color stay and the last one that i recently one of the recent purchase that i got then i found it really really nice coverage as well full coverage and a lot of people raving about it and it's really true it's really good it's from hourglass so this is the foundation vanishing stick and I am in buff so it looks like this the packaging oh, is very slick it's long it's triangular and you just need to twist it up and there goes the foundation and it's really really convenient especially if you do travel and you you know you can just you uh, shoot it because it's a triangle and that's it probably uh, i bought for the packaging of it it's very expensive but yes it's super super worth it the next one is for the um eye primer i have two eye primer that i've been using uh recently and since last year until now the first one is the cheapest one is from essence this is the i heart stage eyeshadow base i heart or i love because the it it's not a word it's like a heart shaped thing there so i believe it they only have one shade if i'm not mistaken so this one is really really good and whoa it uh it lets my eyeshadow sticks on it and it's a stick applicator so yes a little bit goes a long way and my eyeshadow really looks uh looks intact and very very nice so this one is from essence and the other one that i've been using for years and years because i have oily eyelids same as my face is from the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is in Eden because if you can see the eyeshadow primers, the this primer potions in Ur uh, Urban Decay, I think they have several of it. And this one is really, really good for uh, what do you call this? Uh, oily eyelids because this shade Eden, this one, when you put it, you have to be very fast and you have to spread it out because it will turn matte instantly really it will turn matte instantly then you can put your eyeshadow so i love it and it lasts my eyeshadow one of the longest so that's it then what else okay so i have one bb cushion actually it's already been years and years about a bb cushion this is the only bb cushion that i have tested and i've tried out because when i went to korea everything is like bb cushion craze I didn't invest in any baby cushion but here in Singapore I invested to one because I was so curious and you know what that one investment was a really really good thing and I highly recommend it this is from the Maybelline it says here the super BB cushion fresh matte and I am in natural so it looks like this I bought this when it was on sale and this is like the packaging and it just likes like uh, like this so it has only two colors but this one is really really good i like it i use this whenever in on weekends so that i will not put any liquid foundation like for example i go i go do errands only in the church and i know i know now what why are people raving about bb cushions because it's so convenient it's so compact and the sponge inside you can even uh put it the other way around if it's already drying because the sponge it contains uh some uh some foundation and it will just be there i just don't know the sanitation of this but i think as long as you close it it will be okay so yes what else so if i already put the foundation of course we need some 
uh, concealer, right? So the best one that I have uh, tried so far and one of the cheapest, the only one concealer that I'm going to recommend to you guys, this is from the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer and it is waterproof. It's very inexpensive and it's true like what the other YouTubers are saying. They said this like the uh, Tarte Shape Tape which I'm not comparing to that because I don't have that. I don't have like dark under eye circles. But if I do and if I have a need to cover some things like little bit help compared to uh, on top of my foundation, I use this and it's really waterproof and it doesn't really crease. It's really amazing because I remember the last time when I used one uh, concealer, it really creases. I don't know why this one, it doesn't crease, but probably the formula is really great. I really like it. It's inexpensive. And yes, this is from Catrice. What else? So I already put on my foundation. So the number one powder that I've been uh, raving and I've been using is still the RCMA No Color Powder. This is the Highly Rave one by uh, Wayne Goss, by Kathleen Lights. And it's still one of the uh, finely milled and it's really, really good. This one, it's so cute because it looks like in a salt and pepper shaker. Everybody's thinking like, oh, it will be years and years before I finish it. It's true because this one, you see, I'm just half of it. Then this one, I've been using it for one year. But of course, I have other three, three powders that I, I'm using. But this is the one that I highly, highly use since 2017 onwards. It really looks like a salt and pepper shaker. So it looks like this. So what I do about this is that I, I transfer it to another uh, powder uh, container. Then from there, I use a puff and just place it on my face. The last time I used a, a brush, but um, a lot of people say that if you want it to be super matte for your face, well, I like it to be super, super matte, then it's best to use a puff and then press it. So yes, I've been using that with this RCMA No Color Powder. Then what else? For contouring and for blush, for highlighter. Okay, let me just put in, I have several several um, things here that I've been using. The first one, the highly rave one, the highly used one, the, the foundation, uh, foundation, the blush that I've been using, and this is from Maybelline, the Master Glaze Face Studio Blush Stick. This is in Coral Sheen. It looks like this. It's really a stick, like a very jumbo uh, lipstick. And you can see I've already almost hit pan on this and the color is really amazing. I believe even uh you know fair people they can rock this kind of color especially me i'm i'm kind of a morena by the way i'm a nc37 in mac if you would like to know what is my color so this one is really really good i like it you can tint on your on your cheeks on your lips and i can even use my hand of it and it will never go wrong so yes this is highly Highly recommended. Next one for my bronzer. This one is another Korean brand. I got it from Korea because I searched a lot online before I went to Korea so that I know which one to buy. And this one is really, really good. This one is from Two School, Four School Art Class by Rodin. It's for uh, bronzer and contour. The interesting part, it's only one shade. However, so it got the mirror. However, it got it got three shades inside. So I normally um, mix all the colors, and it's a very very good bronzer. It's very light. It's finely milled, and I like it so much. And next on this favorite bronzer of mine, of course, it's still butter bronzer from physicians formula my color is bronzer if i'm not mistaken probably this is the darkest but the shade is bronzer you see i've already hit pan and everybody's cra raving on this this one it really smells like you know summer smells like coconut and it's really really good for the skin and it has this mirror inside with the sponge that i that i never use then yeah but what we like is the inside butter bronzer from physicians formula 
really one of the best and for contouring for highlighting i like this it's a stick it's from maybelline it's a v face duo stick by face studio again so it looks like this and i believe my shade this is the lightest shade so it's a duo stick so it has a highlighter at the other side and a contour stick at the other side so i like this kind of uh multitask uh sticks and multitask products in one go so that you know it will be convenient and you can just you know uh shape up for contouring for highlighting because it's in a stick form i like it and next one one of my multitask palettes that i really really love this is from Katy doll i believe this is a thailand brand if i'm not mistaken this is the 3d face forward nefertiti contour kit so it looks like this this one i, I saw it by chance in bhg in the in, here in boogie so i got surprised with this kind of cute packaging it even got a mirror so i'll just cover it but it looks like this i like it when i travel and and if i and if i travel then if i want like lesser things to carry i just carry this because i like already the blush the highlighter and the bronzer everything is not bad everything looks good and everything lasts so long as well and it's really really good i know there's a lot of companies who has this kind of um like the bronzer highlighter blush all in one palette but this is one of the best and one of the inexpensive as well and i like it it's from Katy doll and the next one is my recent purchase it's a very big purchase it's a very big palette but i really really like it so much this is from tarte this is from blush bazaar palette this is um this is a blush palette and it's a lot of things inside it got eight blushes then it even got two highlighters i know i know now why people loved it so much even though we don't need eight blushes in one go two eyes uh two highlighters in one go this one all the colors is really really loved this is from the amazonian clay and you know tarte they are good in packaging you see it has a gold gold packaging at the back and it got this um, transparent thing to separate these two powders and i like it i like it so much even the highlighter is really good even though i'm not a highlighter person i like it and i'm pretty sure i will never hit pan of this and i'm pretty sure everybody who owns this will never never hit pan of this this one how i use is that i mix the blush so that you can have other colors uh, other other range of colors and i love it i love it so much and i really really recommend this this one is really it happened on end of december 2017 so yes so what else okay so for my face powder i highly recommend the australis fresh and flawless press powder it's oil and fragrance free i am in deep natural Australis is an Australian brand and this one is really good for my oily skin. I haven't hit pan here or pro and I seldom use it but if I use it this is the one I use because normally if I got oily skin I'll just um I take out my oil control film and I use this and I really like the coverage on this then it got a mirror and then the sponge is yoo I like this from Australis eyeshadows I have two recommendations the first one is from freedom cosmetics this is a UK brand this is an eyebrow pomade this is in ash brown I've always been using this this one I believe this is my second year already this is my second or third pot I like it so much they said this is comparable to the Anastasia Beverly Hills I don't have that that's why there's nothing to compare so this one recently it dried out I just uh, put um, micellar water or probably you put uh, eye drops on it then you just mix and it's good to go again this is a perfect color for my eyebrows and I'm wearing it right now I like it so much and this one this is not that waterproof so if, if, if it's waterproof well it doesn't last uh, all day to me so what I do is like my highly highly rave product that is very inexpensive 
but it works the best compared to all of my makeup is this one is the eyebrow coat from Daiso it's in two dollars only and this one it will waterproof any eyebrow really like really really like I use this in my Baraka trip recently when I attended a wedding when me and my husband was Nino and Nina. If you haven't seen that uh, video, I'm going to link it down below at the description bar. And this one, I swam at the Baraka. And the Baraka sea or ocean, salty water, and my eyebrow still looks good. It looks like this. It looks like really a, a nail polish. I don't even use nail polish, but I like it so much. This one, you have to place it in one swipe. You just make it uh, dry because if you if you place it one swipe, right, then you still do your other parts of the face. And it really, really works. I like it. This one, highly, highly rave. I totally agree on this. From Daiso, the eyebrow coat. And the next one is for my eyeliner. I still love for my waterline. The Rimmel Scandal Eyes Waterproof Coal Catchel. This is in black. This one, even though you just put one swipe on my watery eyes, it really, really looks good. This, I've already got, I think, like four or five pencils on this. It's good thing we already have Rimmel here in Watson's. And yeah, I really like it. Cannot rave more about this. Next one is uh, my felt tip eyeliners. I got two. I still, still love my, what is this? K palette. It's a Japanese brand. Real lasting eyeliner, uh, eyeliner 24 hour waterproof one day tattoo. It really is going to tattoo the eyeliner and your, your, this one, the above of the eyes. And it's a felt tip eyeliner and I really, really love it. You see the, the brush? Oh my gosh. So I'm just going to cut that one. And the next one that I really love as well, I didn't even know that they have such a thing, is from Katty Doll again. This is the Shocking Black Liner. So it looks like this. Yes, and this is the tip. It's a felt eyeliner as well. And I like the coverage of this one and the preciseness. And I like it. So both of them highly recommended and oh yes I forgot there is one more concealer that I forgot aside from my Catrice liquid camouflage concealer this one is still my ultimate favorite this is from Maybelline the instant age rewind eraser dark circle I am in medium so this one it got this um, sponge applicator and you just press it underneath the eyes or whatever then I just blend it out it's really really good it's not that heavy as compared to the Catrice but it, this is buildable still highly highly rave and recommended and for eyelashes one of my favorites and still my favorite this is a japanese brand from heroin make this is the long and curl mascara the last time i bought the long and curl mascara super waterproof that i even bought a separate uh mascara remover then when i went to korea they have this on this packaging i like it as well the best part is that the um, the formulation inside really really works it will really curl instantly and it will just last la, last all day and it doesn't clump so as you can see this is fresh from the tube and it looks like this it's just a simple one but it doesn't clump and the formula is really really good i hate it when it clumps and the second one that i highly highly use is from this is true it's from the l'oreal it's from L'Oreal. This is a voluminous lash paradise, which it really, really looks like the benefit better than sex mascara, which I really don't like. When I had that for one week, I really gave it away. It really like, um, it really like, um, what do you call this? It, uh, it gives weight on my eyelashes. It automatically goes down. I don't know what's wrong with that. I don't like that at all. So it took me quite some time to say, okay, I'm going to buy this because we don't have it in Singapore. I bought this online because we have a lot of online shoppers. Shoppers who went in the US, UK, whatsoever. Then they hoard the makeup. They come here in Singapore and they shop everything. They sell everything in Shopee and Carousel. So yes, I bought it and it's really, really good. It really works as well. 
uh, uh, the same one as the heroin make and the I believe the um, the uh, the curler looks like the better than sex mascara I just don't like the um, what do you call this the clumpiness of this so I take out the excess and then just put it uh, put it inside again but yes this one it really really works I don't know why some mascaras probably is a form uh, formula um, difference that it really weighs down your eyelashes but this too not it's like when you curl your eyelashes you put this on it's really good it's really good to go I don't know I hope I hope all uh, mascaras you know do that thing but yes this too I highly recommend and the last last one oh, this is a very long video already but I'm pretty sure it's worth it and it's really really good if I talk about <laughs> my favorite stuff is eyeshadow palettes okay we do first the most inexpensive one and the most inexpensive one is from Beauty Creations. If you don't know Beauty Creations, it's an online, uh, I, I believe, based in America. So I bought this, the Petite Collection Eyeshadow Collection. Uh, I, a Petite Collection Eyeshadow Palette. So it looks like the Naked uh, Basics. So it got this six eyeshadow. So for example, if I don't want to be glam all day, but I still want to have neutral eyeshadow makeup, so I use this. I like it. The formula, uh, the formula is really really good and it's very compact. It's very petite. Like what I said, I like it. So I believe they they mimic the uh, what do you call this? The Urban Decay Basic. So yes. But how do so? But but uh, I got this because I really really want to try the exact dupe of the Modern Renaissance palette from the Beauty Creation. The exact dupe is the Irresistible palette. It looks like this. It's just a cardboard, but it got a mirror. So it looks like this, and wow, the colors are really really lovely. They say it's the is is like the almost the duo for modern renaissance i don't have that yet and i'm still contemplating if i want that but this one all colors are really really love i like this kind of colors and i believe i already i have this uh review on this if you haven't seen my review i'm going to link it down below at the description bar and this one it lasts uh, long on my eyelids and like what i said in my previous videos i do believe i already said it in my previous videos that all morenas their dislike reddish like warm neutral colors is really really good it really rocks the look especially if you got eyeliner i really like it so yes this is my one of my favorites and the next one is okay one of the expensive one that i got is from Anastasia Beverly Hills this is the master palette by Mario this one is really really rave about uh recently like is it recently like probably a uh, third quarter of 2017 because mario uh i cannot pronounce the last name but he is the makeup artist of kim kardashian who who um who always uh do her makeup contour her face and really like this like uh this natural look but um natural look and i like the colors of it it's really good for morena skin tones as well and this is it this is all neutral uh jewel color i like it and it's very very um pigmented i like it so much the color range here is all browns whoa there goes the brush and he got a pop of blue and a pop of green yes i can do a lot of looks on this it has a lot of browns a lot uh and a lot of neutral colors um and it got a pop of blue and pop of green on it i like it so much so yes this is one of my palettes that i always always use from the master palette mario i like it so much i like his style as well you have to follow him in his instagram he has been doing some master classes and been teaching makeup all over the world and the last but not the least a makeup palette eyeshadow palette that i recently purchased and i love is from makeup revolution it's a uk brand this one is a collaboration she is a youtuber her name is soft 
Das Nails makeup collaboration from a YouTuber. Her name is Soft Das Nails, but she plays her name here only Soft X. And this is a Ultra Eyeshadow 24 Ultra Professional Eyeshadow. So it looks like this. It got a very big mirror, so I'm just going to cover that. For that, then it got this uh, name insert that you can just take it out and you can see. It is my first time to see such nice colors and it's original colors and if you're not familiar of the brand Makeup Revolution, they're very very popular in the UK and even got more famous when Kat Von D <laughs> like really hated them so much because she said that her I believe shade and light palette, her her one of the most uh, what I call this sellable palette was uh, copied by Makeup Revolution. And if you can check, Makeup Revolution already copied lots and lots of makeup, especially the the chocolate the chocolate bar palette from Too Faced. Oh my gosh, they really copied it. They copied a lot, a lot of things. That's why when Soft uh, collaborated with them and she thought from everything everything then when I see the pictures of it in Instagram and from her YouTube I'm like thinking wow this kind of palette makes me more creative and I'm like thinking for I think I bought this for 24 or 26 dollars Singapore dollars at Shopee I'm like thinking I want to try it out and you will never get uh, go wrong with, uh, with it because it's like 24 eyeshadows and it's kind of a big palette and I really really uh, love the collection inside it got neutral it got browns got the pop of like a fuchsia pink then got a uh, orange then green purple actually it got everything everything and I made several looks on it I really like it the pigmentation I like it as well I do believe I have a uh, uh, what do you call this a uh, uh, review on this soon because i haven't edited it but yes i already tried this like several times and i really really like it and kudos to you soft i really like it so much you are inside my best in beauty uh 2017 so yes that's about it that's it that's everything everything that i've been using in 2017 this is one of my best of 2017 so i believe i'm going to just probably create a separate video for my lipsticks because i got several lipsticks that i really really love so i believe yes that's about it thank you so much 2017 thank you so much if you hang around until the last end and i hope if you got the best in beauty best in makeup in 2017 do let me know because i would like to know what are other people recommended have tried all your uh, all your round and i would love to try them as well so yes i think that that's about it. I'm going with my kids. I'm going to have dinner already. So if you like this kind of videos, like, subscribe, and click the bell button. Beside the subscribe button so you'll be notified whenever I upload new stuff from your mobile phone. And that's about it. Happy, happy 2018 again to all of us. And I'll see you next time on my next video. Bye-bye.